What's happening? My name is Keith Dixon, and today we're making Jamaican beef patties. Yeah, man! You know, good chefs have always got to taste their food. So I'm going to taste mine. I invented mashed potatoes, and I invented gravy. Sifted flour. You can say hi to Obama and slap your mama. Today we're making Jamaican beef patties. Jamaican beef patties are the equivalent of the American hamburger. Any corner you go to in Jamaica, you're going to find them. But the key is to find the best ones, and that's why I'm here. I'm going to teach you how to make the best Jamaican patties in the world. You ready to get started? The key to the best Jamaican beef patties are all in your ingredients. You have to have quality ground beef fresh scallions, fresh allspice, fresh thyme, garlic, complete seasoning, onion powder, MSG, and my all-time favorite, Jamaican Scotch Bonnet Peppers. If you don't have these kind of peppers, you might as well not even make Jamaican beef patties because these peppers offer such an authentic flavor that you just have to have it. All right, what I'm gonna do now is add everything into the food processor and I'm gonna make what we call a seasoning paste. I'm gonna add one onion. I'm gonna add fresh thyme. I'm gonna add one whole scotch bonnet pepper. I'm gonna add about four bunches of fresh scallions. And the scallions are, is what's really going to give the Jamaican beef patties their flavor. And what I'm going to do now is blend everything in the food processor. So I'm going to create the best seasoning paste you'll ever taste in your life. Now I'm going to begin to add our seasonings. We're going to add about uh, two tablespoons of two tablespoons. I'm going to add two tablespoons of complete seasoning. The recipes are all online, of course, on the website. I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to add one teaspoon of onion powder. One and a half teaspoons of freshly ground pimento powder. Pimento is synonymous with allspice. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of MSG. Got to have it. And once again, I'm going to add one tablespoon of beef bouillon. And what this is going to do is it's going to enhance that beef flavor. Everything I'm adding into this pureed mixture. Now all we have left to do is to blend it all up. Would you look at that? Mm, mm, mm. You already know this is going to be authentic. You can smell all of the flavors. Look how wonderful that looks. Now we're ready to get our meat sauteed. We're all ready to get our meat started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add just a little bit of water into the pan because we don't want our meat to stick. Then we're going to add our one, one and a half pounds of ground beef. Next, we're going to add our seasoning paste. Man, does that smell good. Mm -mm -mm. And we're going to let all of this cook together and form the world's best Jamaican beef patties. And just in case you didn't know, my name is Keith Dixon and I invented patties. So we're going to get all this good stuff in here. One very important ingredient that I'm going to add into this patty mixture is gelatin, unflavored gelatin. What the gelatin is going to do is it's going to create an, a remarkable mouth feel when you, chew the, when you chew the patty. It's going to make it juicy. It's going to make the liquids come together. 
and it's going to make it irresistible and addictive. And although the flavor of the patty is very important, so is the look. So I want this meat mixture to have a really nice dark brown color. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon of browning caramel to this mixture. And it's going to make the, the meat look beautiful. I'm just going to stir that all in. And when it cooks down, it's going to have a wonderful color. I wish we had smell of vision because this smells incredible. I'm just going to let all of this cook down. But while it's cooking, let's get started on our red filler. Another very important ingredient in Jamaican beef patty filling is French bread. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this French bread up into pieces that can fit into our food processor. Not only is the bread going to add texture to the meat, it's going to help stretch the meat. You can make more patties and make more money if you're trying to sell them. texture of this. It's pureed quite nicely and it's going to resemble a meat texture once it's added to the beef. Now we're going to add this to our meat. We're going to give our meat a brief stir to make sure that it's cooking evenly. Can you see that? That's what I call beautiful. It's making singing noises to my ear. Almost ready to add the, the bread filling. You can see all of the scallions. You can see the onions. You can smell the flavors, the thyme, the scotch bonnet. This is what I call incredible Jamaican beef patties. The meat mixture is perfect. I cannot wait to sink my teeth into these patties. Let's finish the filling. All we have to do now is add our bread mixture, which is going to stretch the patty mixture, give it texture, give it more flavor, and just make it wonderful. We're going to give that a stir. You see how the, the bread mixture disappears in the meat? Pretty soon you won't even notice in there, but yet the flavor and the texture of it will be. We're going to add just a little bit more browning caramel because I want the, the color to be nice. I'm going to add about a, t a, t a teaspoon more. That should do. Good chefs always taste their food. Oh my goodness. Perfect taste. Perfect flavor. I'm ready to take this pot and eat all of it right now. You're gonna love this. The only thing I will say is that I'm gonna add a little bit more Scott Spotted Pepper because of the flavor. Now you can make these patties as spicy as you like. I'm gonna add about a half of a pepper more. But I like my patties spicy. I'm gonna let all of this just simmer down. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and add the whole thing. Give it a stir. Can you see that? Give it a stir. 
Let it cook down and we're good to go.